What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group. And we're back here again at Tempo by TriPoint Homes. Got modern two-story and three-story options available here at Tempo. Now we're located right here in the southwest of Las Vegas. And it is a beautiful day out here, 2,672 feet above sea level, four mile an hour winds and 18% humidity. I've always loved the tri-point style with the beautiful spray-on stucco and control joints. And today we're gonna to be featuring the Plan 2 model. It starts as a three to four bedroom, two and a half to three baths, 2,424 square feet. Today's starting price starts at 607,000. Two start, let's take a closer look. All right, guys, we're in front of the plan too. Just wanted to come around and admire these large control joints. All spray on stucco. Paper stone driveway. Got modern coach lighting here on the side and they do have a public restroom. So this door will not be here. But you do have a 200 amp electrical panel. Looks like we have our gas, our D mark for all our communications going in the house like Cox Cable. Lot sizes range about 4,000 square feet out here. So you're going to get anywhere from maybe like a 12 to 14, 15 foot setback in the backyard. It's a three panel modern, actually four, but it is eight foot. Gorgeous. I'm excited to see this plant too. I want to say they put quite a few options in it. Ring doorbell here, aluminum entry gate into your outdoor living. Now for this outdoor living, you will get the pavers lined up here, but everything kind of to the right is going to be all dirt. And they're saying about the plan too, it's hard to overstate the impact of modern architecture. This floor plan hits with a floating staircase that fills your sight line right as you step inside. Love the blue door, eight foot tall with the beautiful modern windows. I can't, I love the control joints. It has a definitely that modern vibe, modern architecture. Here's the backyard. Let's take a closer look. Now, welcome to the plan to open concept. I've always liked the style of this home here in the front, the way they have this bedroom here up front. Now for some of the structurals you can do on the first floor, you can do bedroom number four in lieu of the flex space based cabinets at the dining and the 55 inch electric fireplace option. This island has the waterfall edge. It's got that 45 degree miter cut. Beautiful. It is an extra charge to get the miter cut, but it comes out beautiful. Dark island. So this one's for you. If you've ever been thinking about getting that dark island, you're a little worried. Don't worry. It'll just pull all the colors into your house into this top. Blanco center divide, all black hardware. This one has that Moen sense. I think this is the sleek, I'm not sure. But with the sense, what you can do is you can kind of run your hand here and turn it on and off. And look how shiny that air gap is. Also got your garbage disposal switch on top. So the first thing I do notice about this island is no pendant lights. That's probably how I would do it, actually. We do have six LEDs over the kitchen, two over the dining. But they didn't add the pendants here, but look what they put over your dining. What a stunner. And the white table just to pull it all together. Great idea. For windows, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and more around the corner. You can definitely feel that high energy as soon as you walk in. It's got the French door here to the rear, adding in extra light. In the kitchen, they've gone with a 42 inch shaker style. Has a nice full overlay on it. Has that flat modern crown above. And this is kind of more of that traditional look, but it's a beautiful stain. Modern pools on it. I like it. Great subway style tiles. 
part of that gourmet setup, we have our cooktop, vent hood. Built for a chef, what do you think? Wow, I can appreciate that. And these little modern windows below, so little details, it really just set it off. Did you see that, a green Keurig? And your coffee set up. These are so popular. Every time we go to Costco, my daughter's like, let's get some more storage items. And the cookbook. And forget about the cutting board. Here's another thing I want to point out my clients will want to do is they'll want, if they go with the like a darker backsplash, they'll want to get the black covers around and the black outlets. Now sliding over, we have our GE oven, all Wi-Fi connect and our convection microwave is she venting out don't see the top vent it doesn't mean it's not venting sometimes they vent out the rear so i have to double check on that now where are those cookies here is your cookie storage aka your pantry i like all the black accents they've also gone with these beautiful this is a higher upgrade on your doorknobs and I think it's probably the one to choose. The square look is so modern. Refrigerator, washer, dryer are not included. Beautiful granite top. Lots of care though. Not like your quartz. A quartz is not indestructible either, but it resists a lot more than your granites. You'll get a whole, at closing, they'll give you a whole way to care for your countertops for sure. Garage access currently locked, I can see it. But look at this. These lower set it off. Three inch on the edge, beautiful granite top. Looks like straight out of the Grand Canyon. Very nice style. Shout out to the designers. You guys are awesome making this home come alive. I just love it how the greens and the blacks on the artwork just pulling everything together. Now the dining area is about 13.8 by 17.3. Gorgeous. And your living area is 13.4 by 16.11. This one looks like the 60 inch, I believe, fireplace or 55. And then you have the stone facade. You don't have to do this, but it really pulls everything together. It brings it alive. HOA here is $87 a month. There's no SIDS, no LIDS. No gate, but they do have a couple common areas here in the community. They got spec builds coming up. They got dirt lots available. Now here is an option. Black paint, glass trim. This reminds me of the American West style. Large baseboards. Six inch. Santa Fe texture, that beautiful texture. And here's your flex space. If they converted this to the bedroom, it would turn your half bath into a full bath. But as you can see, we don't have the shower in there. It is dark, we're coming back to that. The flex space is 13, six by 10, seven square feet. Floating shelves, chandelier lighting, accent paint and lots of decor. Love that texture. Just here and there gives it such a rich feel. So yeah, I don't know, like do you keep this the flex room or do you turn it into the bedroom? I kind of like the idea of having that full shower downstairs. Add a little hot tub out back and then just come right in. All tiled up into the flex space as well. Great look for the shelf, shelving. Now look at this bath, so dark. This is all dark green wallpaper. They've got the black and white artwork. Great quartz tops, LED mirror, that's an option. Full spread on the hardware, so no pedestal. Nice and clean with your minimal setup. Same cabinets from the kitchen with the same pools. Very clean, but look at this. That's taking it a step above, so keep those ideas in mind if you want to delete some lighting and add some chandelier. Bye.
and door number two, we have the storage under the stairs. I don't see the light switch. It goes pretty far back there. So yeah, it's our living room, dining room, kitchen here on the first floor. Great feel, nice and compact, but it gets the job done. And shout out to the design team. I had to pull the pillow off of this chair. Isn't she beautiful? Wow, I love it. Now for structurals here on the second floor, you can do the spa shower and the primary bath. You can do the sink cabinets, the lowers and the uppers. Here's our open to below. Modern chandelier lighting, modern window. Everything is modern. Now straight ahead here, we have our loft. It's 13 six by 12 square feet. More of those corner windows, four windows in total. Optional, washer and dryer. Here's your smart panel box. All right, so coming through from the loft, we've got the primary suite here on this side, right in the rear. 14.8 by 16.11, she's a beauty, she's large. More accent walls, large windows. One, two, three, four, five windows. Can you say Mesa Ridge? You got all these multi-million dollar homes sitting up on the hillside. Mountain views for days. I love it out here. Mesa Ridge is beautiful. They got the guard gate and then I believe these are all woodside homes here on this side. Toll Brothers on the other side. You also got Pulte coming. You got Ascension coming right down the street. So pretty nice area if you're looking uh, maybe to get out of Summerlin West and you want to come to Summerlin South. Four LEDs and a pre-wire installed. And I gotta show you this. Take a look down here. Look at the black candle. I need to go to Costco and get some candles for Christmas presents. But look at that. I mean, this the attention to detail, the little accents pulling everything together. And here's your bath, luxury style. Upgraded here in the closet as well. Pretty sweet. Two windows in here, two LEDs. Nice upgrade to your cabinets. Move in with style. It's always so exciting when you build a home, you wait for six to nine months for it to be built. And then that day you get the keys and you get to start bringing your furniture in. Wow. Now this is the spa shower. This is the five ace glass. And this is what I would recommend. Beautiful style on the tiles. Almost gives it that Tuscan feel. Black hardware, you got the bench. Feels like you're in a cave in here. It's got the rain shower attached, single LED. What a beauty. This is for the glass. Keep it nice and sealed up down there. Sealed up on top. You can see the trims on the mirror off the glass. Okay, she's beautiful. I like it. Four by 12 tiles. Those are beautiful in matte black. See, it's tiles like that that push my buttons. Got the beautiful hardware, gray quartz, rectangle undermounts. We are living in luxury. So we do have the upgraded carpeting here in the closet, more of the upgraded tiles in the bath, and our water closet. Nice placement on the towel rack, not too far. Although with this setup, I would definitely do like they did here, put the towel inside. All right, so it's our primary suite and she is sweet. Now right in the rear, we have our secondaries. This is bedroom number three, 11 four by 11 one. Very bright, letting in that light. Here's bedroom number two, 11 even by 11 five. With the low profile bed, it feels great. The extra LEDs in the bedrooms are like icing on the cake to me. That's what I think. 2,684 feet above sea level, 16% humidity here in the desert, 
3 mile an hour winds and it's 70 degrees. Welcome to fall weather. I don't know how long it's going to last because before you know it, it's going to be freezing for me. I'm going to have to find my beanie and my gloves. It gets hard to even power the button on when it gets cold out here for the camera. Walk-in closet. So yeah, this is Tempo by TriPoint Homes. I want to take a look and look more into detail on their three-story option. And then right in the back, another walk-in closet with window. Good size. Welcome home. So 65 home sites are going to be building them all up in this area here. Pretty desirable area. The very, very beginning of the Southwest. You could also call it Summerlin South. Shout out to the design teams. And hello to you too. Right behind, what do we got here? Storage for days. And our secondary bath. I already like the use of the black on the wood black on the shower. So adding this glass is an option to your tub and shower combo. Fiberglass, all black trim, part of the hardware package. And some green backsplash. And the fireplace. Well, what do you guys think? That's the plan two here at Tempo in the southwest of Las Vegas. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.